All right, we have our solar panel racks that we're putting together. We already put together one and we're gonna kind of show you this one, hopefully as we put it together, if we don't run out of light first, but we're using this, uh, if you're wanting to look for the brand on Amazon, it's Echo Worthy. Um, and there's a user manual, but the uh, usefulness of it is not very much. <laughs> I don't know if you can read that, but uh, it's very broken English, which I can't say I'm surprised. But we figured out the first one more or less. So the parts you got here, um, we've got these. These are legs. So there's two tall legs. There's two short legs. That's so you can get the angle on the panel. And there's a foot to put on each of the bottom of them. Then you have these pieces that sit on top of those legs. There's two of those, like this. And then we have six of these, let me get them apart here, that go end to end across. And these pieces here, you unbolt and you put them end to end and put the bolts through and that's how you connect everything together. There's some uh, bolts with it. This is for, um, <clears throat> these are like anchors to anchor it down to stuff. We're not using that at this point. It comes with a uh, handy little tool here uh, to put the bolts together. And then I haven't seen what we use this. Oh, I know what it's for. Um, so this is to, attach the solar panels down to it to mount it in and it uses a um, allen wrench for that these little dudes here there's four of them uh, those go on the corners to attach the long pieces to the uh, legs and then there's caps for the ends to keep it from being sharp and i think that's pretty much all the parts so we'll start putting it together now these for whatever reason come with these little bolts all in there, I guess it's to show you where they go. Those all have to come out in order to use that. So just so you know, you gotta take those all out. First off, I'm gonna show you how to attach a foot. So each one of the legs has two ends to it, it has two slotted uh, holes here and one single at the top. That goes to the top, which is so that it can hook into this particular piece over here. And then these go in there. And I put the uh, open part to the back just like that. Don't know if that's how you're supposed to do it, but that's how we did it. Just run the bolt through. And put a nut on it. And you just tighten it down. Uh, it does come with a little wrench. Sometimes those hold in there, sometimes they don't, so. Um. <coughs> The wrench only fits certain parts here. So you gotta find out which one it does. So, two bolts in each one, and that's a foot. You do that four times. Two short ones and two long ones. All right, so these rides here with the pivot points on it they came installed on there uh, but this one it says needs to be started at the second hole up and it's installed at the first so we're gonna have to take these off and move them up one all right then the uh, feet go on these little holes here and one of the uh, big bolts goes through that this is the pivot point. There it is attached. And as you can see, it pivots on that bolt. Then you do the same thing up there with the long one, with one of these. And there it is, one side's finished. The uh, short end here is has the little overhang as it's in the directions to move that up. So that's what we did. Now we gotta put those together and connect the two sides. Okay, so we got all these little bolts and nuts that we 
took out of these pieces that we're gonna join these together with. So this just sets on that and they butt up one to another. And then we're gonna take our bolt, push it through, put a nut on it. Hand tighten it for now. And then you just do it four more times across there. Forgot to mention, and forgot to do, uh, on the back side of this, there is a washer that goes on underneath that nut. And you can hand tighten it and do it all the way across that way. There's a washer on both sides. There is one of the cross members bolted together. So there's three pieces attached by two of these braces with four bolts and nuts each. All right, so the next thing is to attach this to that. The bolts that come with it are like this. So this piece here slides up in there and then you tighten this down, but this bolt has to go through the slots on this first. So you gotta take it apart and stick it through there and then slide it on there. Um, and they didn't really, from what I saw, have any instructions about where to place the feet in regards to this, other than you need to have it balanced between your panels. So you don't want, you know, them really close in the center with your panels all hanging off. So we kind of split the difference. So there's gonna be about two panels in between the two of them and one on the outside for ours. So, so for us, that was, uh, wasn't it five? Yeah, five of these slots in, so we went one, two, three, four, five. So right there is where we are gonna put this bolt through. Five over. And I'm just gonna start threading that because you need a little bit of space. And this is gonna go down in there. And then you just twist it around. It's kind of hard to see, but now it's twisted around. And then it'll slide up and down so you can adjust it as needed, but you gotta take your wrench here and tighten it down. So if you need to adjust it, you would have to untighten this to adjust it. We go so that's tight and then you just do that on all four corners so there's four spots for that so basically one right above each leg is where we're putting ours and then they have these plastic end caps to put on just to keep you from scratching things up with it and that is the whole rack there for the most part. No panels on it yet, but. So we ended up getting all those racks together that night and we got the panels mounted on them. However, it got to be super late and we got super cranky. So we held off on videoing it just to get it done. But now I'm gonna show you what it looks like after the fact with the uh, panels actually installed on the uh, brackets and tell you uh, come of some of the issues that we had with that. So here they are. You've got on each end here, these end brackets, and then there's center brackets in between that hold a panel on each side. And these kind of work like those other brackets I showed you at the four corners, putting the braces together, where they have this piece that sticks in here. Um, the issue that we ran into is, uh, if you remember earlier, I don't know if we can see it, maybe from the back we can see it. <clears throat> earlier in the video, there was, we put these together here with these things, and you need to make sure, which we did, that you put the bolts down through the back here um, so that they don't stick up in here. 
so it's just like the bolt head and not this part sticking up even with that though these little pieces here the part that spins around inside there's not really enough room for it to slide around because of those bolts sticking up so in my opinion that's kind of a design flaw in this thing and just something you should be aware of um so with one of these racks we had to fight with that because we got it started and had to like move it around and the second one the the fix to it is just to offset your panels a bit so that that doesn't end up right over one of those seams because like this one is right on top of it this one over here though i'll show you where we how we did it they're a little offset so yeah right there so we skipped that one and over here we got like right next to it so that's not in the way so the only other part i'm not going to show of this because i don't know where or how i'm doing it yet is mounting them on a stable surface uh, that's something you want to do i just have mine sitting on the ground right now because i need them to work right now uh, but they do need to be secured down especially if you get high winds or that sort of thing so that's but that's all i'm gonna show you for this video is just how to put them together for the most part so uh, if you have any questions feel free to leave them in the comments i'll try to answer best i can and thanks for watching